Welcome to my paralogue walkthrough of the Land of the Golden Deer. This is Lorenz's paralogue. Lorenz's, oh, however you say his name, these names can be confusing. And his goal is to manage Acheron, as you've noted through the earlier cutscene. Now this battle is, this map is fairly straightforward. Just got a few units here. Of course, your units are over here. Grassland with, well not so much grassland. The left side's got units, drawbridges, and a longer path this side. Of course, the person in question, Acheron, is right here with Blizzard Magic. It's not too powerful, he's only level 15 and the units here are about level 13 or so. As usual, my team is rather overpowered, but don't let that stop you. Let's begin. Now, the victory conditions are actually pretty harsh for this battle. Defeat the enemy commander or 12 turns pass. Your defeat conditions, Lawrence falls in battle or the defendant location is captured. Far more enemies than I expected. Oh, and here I will. That is Acheron. We need not actually kill him. Incidentally, take note. We may be able to... Right. So here's the thing. Lorenz has to... Lorenz has to be on this mission no matter what. So if you don't like him, well, tough luck. This is his parallel. This pink square is the location you cannot allow any of Acheron's forces onto. And he's got quite the army. In particular, he's got a number of flyers, such as this Pegasus Knight. He also has a Cavalier. Another Cavalier. Another Pegasus Knight. Another Cavalier. And another Cavalier and Pegasus Knight here. Those are going to be your biggest obstacles because, well, uh, Pegasus Knight can fly past most of your units and get on there. Now, as I have a flying Byleth, I could probably easily just fly over and take out Acheron. And I'm probably going to do that. But it's important to note that if you ever... If you don't have a flying unit, which is entirely possible at this point in the game, you're going to have to rely on bridges or long-range attacks to reach him. Like Let's so. Get to it. Have Leone take out some of the units. This is your fastest way to Acheron, taking out this bridge. So you would have to take out this unit, move a unit onto that bridge, select the bridge command, and lower it. Ready when you are. Yeah. So I'll do a command. I feel Stay focused. Akron, as a mage, has some pretty good attack range, so do be careful when you're advancing forward, but for the time being, you're just going to have Byleth sit across the corner. And now, th here's the thing. It's important to have some key. units, of course, advance, but some units need to stay behind and guard this pink tile. And I know what you're thinking, that sounds incredibly stupid, why would I need that? Well, if you're on lower levels, my team isn't, these units will start converging on that location really fast. And, I'll show you what I mean, they won't really care about what units are in the way, so you want to make it as hard as possible for the enemy units converge on that pink square because yeah it's a 12 turn limit but you really don't want to be caught in a position where 
someone can has taken out a unit and has easily made it pass, or there's no healer. Now I know what you're thinking. I'm just trying to activate the bridge. Leone will activate the bridge. And that will be your fastest way to Akron. It's a tougher fight, but the fastest way. This is what I do. You're still As you can see, the units have converged relatively quickly, and they will continue to do so. You're relentless. I won. As long as they're present, which means they're going to keep charging and charging and charging until 12 turns are up because you've lost the game by then. Never underestimate how fast units can approach, especially if there are numerous amounts of them. I stand ready. I'm gonna have Lorenz go out and patrol. Hilda will likely stay back for defense. Now, obviously, my units are a bit overpowered, but notice, immediately the, immediately after I've moved a bunch of units to the side, that Pegasus Knight flew over, and if I don't tend to that Pegasus Knight now, and this is kind of the reason I didn't finish the game, this battle with Byleth off right from the start, you need to be aware that these units will prioritize getting to that pink square as much as possible. They won't... The only reason that we'll try to engage your units is if they're in the way. And a Pegasus Knight getting through is going to be the reason you fail this mission. You lost me. So always pay attention. There's more than one Pegasus Knight on this map. I've taken down two, but there's still one right here who will advance once most of your units are gone but that's basically the map this is not too difficult if you've prioritized things properly that's the golden deer for you next one's mine as long as you remember not to overextend watch your pegasus knights and cross the bridge acheron himself is not too difficult to defeat once you've defeated acheron the battle is over You have my thanks, Professor. Please see you back. And that is the Land of the Golden Deer paralogue in a nutshell. Of course, as I said before, I'm being really it's really easy to complete because I have a flyer or a flying unit, a Pegasus Knight, or a Wyvern Rider should be enough. But if you don't, take the bridge and just run straight to Akron. But be aware of Pegasus Knights coming through to take that pink square defend it at all costs thank you so much for watching please do subscribe if you like this video there will be more like this in the future otherwise i will see you for the next paralogue